Hey folks, MJ here from Not Another Reacts channel. Welcome to uh, The Penguin, episode 6. This one's called Gold Summit. Not sure what that means. Uh, maybe they're going to get money? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the last time we finished off, uh, Penguin has his underground lair now. Well, he has the starts of it. The starts. He has the start of it. And Sophia has teamed up with... Uh, Salvatore Moroni, who's 100% out for revenge. Um, she killed her, his guys, though, so is she just going to send him off with a gun? And, yeah, Vic. Vic has... We've seen uh, his nemesis, possibly, pop up in the form of Squid. So he spotted him going into the building, and he probably will rat on them or threaten to... And Vic will try and deal with it himself, I imagine, rather than involve Penguin. So, uh, and yeah, we've got two buckets of mushrooms. So, let's see how they grow underground. All right. Two episodes after this, there's two episodes left to go. There's a lot to it. Great show. Let's watch. Sophia's the last of them. She don't even like a fucking name. Oh, he's recruiting. Sal's out of Blackgate, but his family's still fucking ash. <laughs> we started with two buckets. Two fucking buckets. Oh. That's quick. You won't see any trouble. As long as your mouth stays shut, you understand? Oh. Careful. The city hall's rationing electricity, sending it all to the rich neighborhoods. Of course they are fucking pricks. <laughs> Typical. Uh, Messing up a, a young entrepreneur here, like. He's Moroni, Gigante, whatever the fuck. They can sniff around all they want. I mean, they're so busy with the noses up. They'll never take the look down. Yeah, but you and me, look around. Oh, that was a good fucking line. You know how meaningful that is, Vic? To be the guy in the neighborhood who takes care of people. Be the guy you want to be. Close every window. Such a big house. I was about to say, it must be very quiet, but uh, I suppose she does have uh, her psychiatrist with her, doesn't she? Just didn't want to see that. A little bit of pubis. It's a spicy meatball. You know, fugitives really shouldn't leave their rooms. <laughs> oh, is this the fodder figure she always wanted? Can't believe you opened that. What? I'm just gathering dust. Just like your father. <laughs> Not the 1970 Chateau Bordelais. Eggplant, tomatoes, little meat. Tomatoes. He admire her. He's supplying the street with your drug, and no one's talking. Need to pay him more money. Well, and I think that we just have to make it very clear that playing with us comes at a cost. Kill them all. <laughs> you shouldn't chain those things. Dangerous. Still smells fucking great though, huh? Look. Cooked enough. Uh, look a little bit burnt. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. You're a good boy. Mom. <laughs> oh, shit. Making a voice. I'm sorry, I thought. Hey, no, no, no. You don't talk about my brother. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ma, Ma, look at me. Hey, Ma. Or a subject. Oh, wait, come on. You clean this shit up. I'll take care of myself. Watch. The Maronis have hit one of the gangs or some shit. Young men, each of them with a severed finger. Hanging in. The yeah. They're just a corner boy. Just a warning shot. That fucking Mork and Mindy are flexing. Means anyone call Morgan Mindy. And look, Sal, Sophia, they know my group. They ain't looking for you guys. But we don't take anyone's money. Nah. He's telling everyone everything. <laughs> Gonna give every motherfucker in this city a free taste. All right, no more standing around. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Supply, demand. Oh, here comes Squib. He's your. B grade, bro. B grade, come on, man. Don't do me like that. We go back, right? <laughs> so, what is it? It's 
Wait, I'm not a part of any drug. Squid. You're gonna have to be fucking shot, Squid. So go tell your people I want in. Let's get this motherfucking money. We cool? Yo, welcome back to the hood, baby. Gonna have to shoot him. Oh no, not a school pad. Damn it. Mmm, someone's finger's getting cut off with that one. Is he gonna take that nicer tacky? I know. <laughs> I think it's lovely. Ah, uh, his family. It's got something, you just have to look hard enough. I wonder if she's gonna find something about her female, his female friend. Oh. I don't think that'll fit us. There we go. I'm working here. All right, let's go slow, 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 slow. All right, come on, you got it. I think that poor woman needs uh, more help than you can provide. Can't do it. Sure you can. Look at me, sweetheart. Oh, you'll be all right. I know you will. Yeah, I'm calling it next episode. He loses her. And he goes all out. Say you do it. You mean it. Because you love me. Say it. Give him a harder punch. Show your love. All right. I'll do it. Fuck. Say that starts the This is a uh, dab hand at the old makeup, isn't it? His ha fingers and hands are all grimy and uh, they're working man's <laughs> hands. Oh, it's a necklace to start it all. Never seen the bitch. Uh oh. Don't go to her, she'll follow you. Real buzzkill around here, you know? Roxy. Oh, it's the chocolate lady. But I might be able to help. For the right price. Hmm. Cake lady, don't give a shit. Who this? You think you could just roll a dog to people that got them with an invisible dick, that it? Shit. Shit, what do you want? Oh. Please stop, I'll do it, I'll do it. Please stop, fuck off. <laughs> Jesus. You got more room than you think. Straight back. <laughs> I know somewhere. I'm going to text you the address. He's Irish. Yo, Victor. He's my fucking dick off. Hey, squid. Tom Tough Guy, because he's working with Oz. What's his fuck? Yeah, the Wizard of fucking Oz. Nobody sees this guy, but he's out here pulling all these strings. Interesting. <laughs> Maybe I should help them out, make some real money. Or you take me to your boss. So what's it going to be, Victor? Well, that's good. Now you fucked up. Okay. Um, money? Okay, we're underground. Underground? Shit, you digging holes or something? <laughs> ah. Yeah. <sighs> Double tap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. That is fucking nasty. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Why'd you make me do that? Okay, I mean, yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. You don't seem surprised to see me. I told Roxy to send you up. 
I'd say it was both a headache. Okay. Turned her back on her. Goes. Doesn't care. Doesn't feel like she's a threat. What does he like? Leather leopard print. But we all got our shit, don't we? I mean, you certainly got yours. Yeah. Well. You're family to me. You still think I'm the hangman? <laughs> He said he felt bad for you, that you were sick. Well, if that were true, you would have been dead at the door. <laughs> That's why you asked me here. To save them from the hangman. That's not who you are, right? Not who I was. This is fucking tense. Oh. Crown point. By the zoo. Oh, shit. But where you got that information? It'll stay between us. See? You got more flies with honey. These motherfuckers are pissed, but they want to meet. This is it. You good? They'd be like, oh, you took problem. You took care of the problem. It's fine. Get something to eat and rest. Right? You're gonna be a puddle of water tomorrow. I'm gonna need you. you. Hear me? Yeah. You're like a, uh, you know, he's replacing his father figure. Uh, fucking Salvatore's replacing her father figure. Some parallels between the story. Are we gonna have a shootout? Late to my own party. Not a good look, I know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Gold Summit. You're all gonna be proud to see. Oh. Huh? No, it's named for the rich crooks who took credit for your family's hard work. It's gonna work on these guys. I don't think so. They only care about money. They're drinking orange wine. They're making crooked deals to benefit them. And guess what? They can't fuck it. Orange wine. Whiskey. There's no code, no class. A penguin is a bargain basement hustler. Oh. They don't even know our fucking names. It's a good speech, man. Look, everything you heard about me is true. He's taking a two beers himself. <laughs> Shit. Gold. <laughs> Gold summer. Good. They're taking back Gotham. Now he's got his muscle. Oof. We're supposed to burn those, no? Hey. <laughs> Whoa, what's happening? What's going on? Here's my <laughs> Really good actress, isn't she? Oh, shit. So he got the electricity back, he got his people, uh, but they got his mom. Oh. Oh, you fucking. Oh, they just left it like that. Uh. 
Whew. All right, what's think of that? That was this show. Oh, so good. I mean that. Uh, the ending is bittersweet. I think for Oz. I mean, all it took was a little player to the nose. I mean, that's a good tip against politicians. You know, a little player to the nose seems to work wonders. And obviously, a bit of blackmail. Uh, but yeah, it's been a, it's a, <laughs> fuck me, that's a very bittersweet ending there now. So she has his mom, she has his Vic. Just the way it cut at the end, I don't know what is going to happen. I imagine she's going to have her and it's going to be another hostage exchange thing where it'll go the opposite way. I definitely think she's going to be gone next episode and he's going to fucking, there's going to be a war. So, um, the whole gold summit thing, that was pretty cool. I didn't know what it meant at the start. We were talking about it and yeah, that's what the meeting of the other criminal mind guys, um, so they also have that gold beer and they all broke beer. Pretty cool. And yeah, Squid got his uh got his day. I mean, you know, just take the money, man. Take the money. Walk away. And uh, said he had to fuck it was it? Fuck around and find out. He found out. And yeah, uh, next episode, I don't know if there's gonna be war or I don't know how Penguin's going to get out of it. I can't see it ending well either. Also, she, like, Vic is there as well, so we have Vic too. So, yeah. I don't know. Uh, they ended it, though, at a shit time. Because, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, in fairness, it was a great uh, point to pick. <laughs> Just leaving us hanging for a whole week. So, yeah, we have to wait for that now. And uh, I guess we have two episodes left. It's it's all coming to a head. I think I saw an interview with Colin Farrell where it uh it said, Yeah, you might like him now, but by the end of it, so what is he gonna do to us in the next two episodes? Uh I'm looking forward to seeing. And yeah. I think uh I'll leave it at that. Thanks for taking the time to watch. I hope you have a good one. Bye.